Welcome to this short video tutorial. This one is all about um, answering a 10 mark question and being successful answering a 10 mark question. In particular, it's the 10 mark question which has got um, apply a material from the item, analyse two things. Okay, so in the topic that we're going to be looking at for this one is a family question. Um, and we're just going to explore a student answer, we'll grade it and we'll have a look at what you could do. So here's the item. This is um, a possible uh, question off paper to A level. Um, parents today spend a great deal of time and money trying to make the, sure the children enjoy a quality book, bringing them up. The children to have opportunities themselves they never had. March progress, so shall I just argue that these changes in family life have led to improvements. And basically what you've got to do is select material from the item which indicates two changes in the position of children in society over the last 100 years and it is a 10 marker. So let's have a look at the student response. So this is um, a student has made two um, explanations here. So what I quite like about this answer so far is I can clearly see as an examiner the student has given two explanations. They've started on new lines for each one. They've used the word and then the question to change the position of children in the last 100 years. Um, and they've backed it up with examples and they've split it up by missing a line in between. So psychologically as an examiner that just makes it really easy to read. Okay, so in the first example, um, we have got um, the students has mentioned compulsory schooling, linking it into the um, introduction of education, increasing to 18, mentions a little bit about um, a bit of theory, linking a concept in together. You've got a couple of concepts here, con uh, economic liability and um, maintain age patriarchy and they're using a little bit of analysis there about the problem of it. Okay. The second paragraph, um, the students just chose about the Children Act and child welfare, um, linking it into poacher, golden age of innocence and then there's a bit of analysis here where they are questioning whether it is a golden age for every student. Okay. Now if you want to go back to what the question was actually asking, it was asking to apply the table from the item, analyse two changes in the position of children. And the problem is with the student, they've not used anything from the item. All right. Um, so even though they've got two decent explanations that has suggest why the position of children has changed, um, they haven't used the development from the item. And that's the whole point of this question is showing application of skill. OK, so as an examiner, um, I would give that 3 out of 10. It's not moved out of the bottom bracket. No item, um, it stays at 3. OK, if the student had used the item once, I possibly would have put it into the middle band. OK, if the student had used the item twice, with those level of explanations, they could have been going into the top band. OK, so what should the, exam um, what should the student should have done then? Um, so basically, let's go back to the item. And this question is asking you to pick two things out of the item. Um, items possibly could give you at least three hooks that you could use to to develop from and you've got to choose two of them. Choose the two that you can write most about and choose the two that you can analyse and possibly evaluate as well. Thinking about getting those marks um, that are available there for you to get you into the top band. So for example, from the item, um, you could have chosen parents are spending more time and money, okay, um, so they've got a comfortable upbringing. You could use that from the item and you could link in some key concepts such as 227,000 spending on them, spending leisure time together, um, so there's more family time. You could link it into this um, symmetrical type family where leisure time is now um, the whole family thing. Um, spending quality time together with a keyword that you could apply. You could link into golden age of innocence, so the spending it, you know, linking in this idea of having a comfortable upbringing, protection from harm, um, wrapping them up in cotton wool, whatever. You could link it into poachers. Um, study there. Um, you could say it's a very much a Western idea of childhood that you do spend a lot of your money on your children. Um, 
a lot, lot more so um, and this idea that you have fewer children but you spend more time on them you could refer back in terms of your analysis historically um, in the past children were um, seen and not heard whereas now we've got a totally different attitude towards children um, and the way that we view them okay um, you could have picked out about children having opportunities that they've never themselves ever had. Um, so here you could link it into educational opportunities, identify compulsory education. This student would have benefited from just adding that link into the item. Um, to, just to, to explain it a little bit. Um, this would lead into social mobility, high aspirations for the children, economically mobile children, so being able to move about, being able to spend money on resources, um, what type of opportunities can they have. You could add examples there just to explain it. Um, using disposable income to do so, um, meeting a range of emotional needs, physical needs are being met in terms of those opportunities. So you could apply lots of examples there and in your analysis you could question do these opportunities, are they equal to all children or is there a class difference, gender difference and that would just end it off that paragraph quite nicely. Like I said, the item often has three hooks or they're suggesting that there's going to be three hooks in the item. Um, so the third one that you could possibly have is um, March Progress Sociologist that there are changes in family life and you could indicate what those changes in family life are. Um, so you could use earlies or shorter as March of Progress Sociologist and you could talk about the historical viewpoint and how that has changed, that we have awoken from um, this nightmare of children um, dying and what have you. They've got a change in the impact of infant mortality rates, children are surviving, they're living longer um, and so on. Um, so and then you can link it into having fewer children, spending more on the fewer children that they have, leading into child-centered society, which is very much a march of progress view. Um, then you could talk about them being better valued, more cared for, more protected. Again, it overlaps with Pilcher's view in society. Um, and differs from the past. In the past there was parental indifference, so children died often in that first year of life and it wasn't uncommon to name a, um, a new baby after a dead sibling, for example. So there was very, very much indifference. So the attitude towards children has changed and that means the social position of children has changed as well. They've become very much more of a focal part of society, focal part of family life as well. They're consulted and decision making um, much more than they were ever in the past. Um, so what else? Um, the student would also benefit from using the wording from the question and the explanation. Um, that was something else that jumped out on me. Um, if a student really clearly linked into the question, I would have no problem putting them in the top band. So for example, um, according to the item, there's the quote, parents spend a great deal of time. This means the family spend more quality time together using family leisure activities. And this means the position of the children has changed. And that's just a direct quote from the question. And then you can explain why is the position of children changed. Okay, so use the wording from the question. So in summary for this um, visual tutorial, what we suggest on a 10 mark, applying uh, material from the item, analyse um, two things. 15 minutes, two bulky paragraphs, make sure that you are quoting the item, use the word according to the item, make it really obvious so the examiner doesn't have to hunt, don't make them work to give you marks, make it really easy for them. Um, make sure you lead your explanation from the item, follow that logical chain of reasoning. So if you're talking about, you know, time, for example, well, describe time, don't start chatting about money, all right, it doesn't make sense. So whatever you think of in the item, make sure that your explanation logically follows on. Don't start chatting about something else. Yeah, um, just make sure that it it does um, follow on. Um, show analysis, link concepts together, um, name studies together, and say things like, "Oh, this what this means, and this links to this." Um, use words like that, and that just shows analysis. Um, and further analysis and evaluation does it. 
properly for all children so question it so for example um, if we're talking about the position of children changing or improving well it's children are not a, um, a generic group there are different children based on their class their gender their ethnicity so mention that okay um, and explain why it might not be better for all children mention something like control the student mentioned age patriarchy child abuse things like that so so give a, an alternative viewpoint or just show a little bit of analysis okay so thank you for listening to the short video tutorial about answering a 10 mark question applying material from the item um, analyze okay any questions or any feedback just pop it in the comments below that would be really useful um, thank you for listening